Arab Tov, I'm Stephen Ben Danoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. The unrest continues in Israel as riots continue around the country, not just limited any longer to uh, East Jerusalem, but the riots have spread throughout the country over the uh, death that has been blamed on uh, Jewish uh, retaliation for the deaths of uh, Gilad, Naftali, and Yaral. Uh, in the death, the, the deaths that they had just uh, just uh, days of, ago, they say that this was a retaliatory attack on a 16-year-old um, uh, Arab boy who was killed in East Jerusalem, and then his body was burned. According to the autopsy results, they believe that he was still alive when his body was being burned, which has incited even more riots. But ironically, though, in separate interviews, when the police had uh, interviewed the father and the mother, and this is something that the media does not want to report to you, the father had said that it was Arabs that had kidnapped his son, which was kind of ironic in itself. Um, Let's move on to other news. This afternoon or tonight in Israel, between 8 and 9 p.m., 40 more rockets uh, slammed into Israel. Many of those were intercepted by the, the uh, Iron Dome that Israel has for its own protection against the, uh, the rocket attacks. But, of course, not all of those are intercepted. They also stated 30 rockets were fired from Gaza just minutes after the cabinet announcement. Uh, Palestinians and Israeli Arabs are rioting. Rumors and reports of more kidnappings are rampant. Uh, over 100 rockets have exploded in southern Israel since the tragic kidnapping and brutal murder of our boys. Um, and, by the way, that's uh, Neftali, Gilad, and Yaral. Um, uh, code red sirens are forcing residents of southern Israel towns to run for cover. Hamas has released scarce videos with threats such as this. To the settlers of Beersheba, your leaders have bombed our homes, killed our children, and sentenced, sentenced you to death. Run before it's too late. Um, interesting. Uh, Abbas of the Fatah movement has proclaimed, Sons of Zion, this is an oath to the Lord of the heaven. Prepare all of the bags you can for your body parts. That's pretty, that pretty much lets us know that the Antifada that had seemed to die out uh, just a few years ago is getting ready to go back in full swing once again. Suicide bombers, no doubt, when he says body bags uh, to prepare all of the bags you can for your body parts. That's suicide bombers. Um, anyway, continuing in other news. Israel is preparing to go to war with Iran. Actually, the, the escalation of this reality has take, taken a step forward. Um, we've known for quite some time that Israel had been planning uh, a possible attack on uh, Iran for the nuclear capabilities that they are, are beginning to, to rapidly um, acquire. And finally, they announced today that that is becoming an inevitable uh, situation, an inevitable uh, fact that war will be uh, going on with Iran. They are preparing the citizens of Israel as well for this attack. Uh, Israel is aware that not only are the riots that are going on in the streets of Israel over uh, the death of the three Israeli teens and the one Palestinian uh, teen, and how this is escalating pretty much out of control, but also that the war with Iran now is, an, is inevitable, as well as knowing that this will escalate tensions on a number of fronts. Uh, Israel is expecting at minimum 500 Israeli lives lost in such a campaign. Um, I can only imagine what's going to be next. Anyway, I'm Stephen Bendenun with Israeli News Live.